Hello ladies and gents, it's Zigzag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today I'm playing on the Satellite Mode, which is a new development, a new little script has been created by Ju Jupork, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyway, he has uh, created a script that, you know, includes like Chinese coverage, Korean coverage, a lot of like po uh, post-Soviet country coverage, and also he's included one that uses Bing uh, satellites, and these satellites can go all around the world and you can get any country and you're looking at it from above. So pretty self-explanatory, but also quite fun. So I saw GeoPeta and Chicago Geographer trying out this script and particularly Chicago Geographer's uh, video on it gave me a uh, reason, I think, to give this a go myself. I had to had to uh, give it a go. So this is my first ever game on it, or second ever. I gave it one one try before this, uh, but let's go. And the first time it kind of flashed up with the normal round and then the um, satellite. So I'm gonna look away quickly, just so it doesn't do that again, hopefully. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, I don't know if it did it or not, but we can see a town here. So I think they ha all have at least a thousand population. This one looks quite a bit bigger. We've got a river running through here. So let's get in here and look at these buildings, shall we? Okay, so quite suburban. Um, can't really tell if we're going left or right, but this one should be like, it should be like North America or, or Western Europe, I'd say. So let's take a closer look at some of these buildings. Uh, okay, big apartment blocks here. That might be more typical of Europe, but... Yeah, okay, so maybe these apartment blocks do remind me more of Europe, so I guess I'm kind of thinking of Czechia, or I don't really know what I think this far. Uh, like, a, what is this over here, actually? Some shipping containers or something, or are they just, is it like a slum? I'm not really sure. So maybe it's a poorer country than I thought. I'm, I'm kind of conflicted here. We've got like a big railway as well, so that might lead me more to Europe, but could easily be the US as well for that reason. So it'd be great if we could find like a sports stadium. What's this here? I'm not really sure what that is. It looks like a race track of some kind, but I'm not really sure what sport for. Cause I feel like a lot of the times the sports stadiums would really help dif differentiate the city. Also blue roofs here, that's kind of a Chinese thing to do, but feels a bit too green for China probably. Anyway, I'm, I've got a pick here. I want to go for Europe still. Oh, I'm not entirely sure where. It could easily be US here. Let me think one more second. Yeah, I still think I prefer Eastern Europe here. Let's go in like Ukraine or something like this. Let's pick a town in Ukraine. What about this one here? I mean, it has a, t a river running through it. It's clearly not the right town, but because I can't find it, let's just go for that. Okay, this one was in Russia. So we were in Vologda. Uh, Volog Volog Vologda. And uh, this was the river. So if I was familiar with the town more, I probably could have gotten that considering it is a reasonably sized city. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I at least got the right, like, region, so I would count 2,000 points as a relative win here. Also, I'll leave the link for the, um, script in the description, by the way, if you want to try it out for yourself. But here's the next one. This time we do have something going on here. It's a, uh, it's a, a gridiron field, like an American football field. And we've even got the Raiders, BHS, uh, Bloomington. So Bloomington, not really sure if that is going to be the name of this city or if it's just, well, it probably is, to be honest. This is a relatively well, good sized city as well. So as I said, these sport fields tend to be a good differentiator. So do we have any river running through or anything? Uh, so it doesn't really appear to be anything in the way of a river. Well, there are some like dams or something, but it does not really appear to be that much of a river. So we got some cul-de-sacs. Um, it feels very flat. I'll say that it feels very flat. So I'm, I'm thinking Southern here, like big highway on the outside. So we're just on an interstate as well. Um, and yeah, we've also got an air, airfield as well. So it's a, it's a relatively good sized town, a, a great a big green, um, yeah, a big green, uh, like golf course actually here. Um, but yeah, and a, and a, and a diamond for uh, baseball as well and tennis. But yeah, this is the big one. The Raiders, I'm, I'm unfortunately unaware of where the Raiders are from. I don't know, it could be anywhere in interior US here. I kind of like, I don't know what, 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 I don't really know what Atlanta is for football, but I kind of like maybe, maybe, um, maybe in Georgia here. Feels like it feels like a decent shout at least. Oh, so it's definitely not Rome because that runs along a river. So let's find a bigger town that run, doesn't run along a river here. Ostel, yeah, too small of a town, unfortunately. Marbleton. Well, what we're actually looking for, of course, is, uh, what's it called again? Uh, Bloomington. Uh, do I see that? Let's just see, see if we zoom out this this far. Can we see it anywhere? Because uh, I do think it could be really anywhere in the country right now. I, I've not heard of that place. Um, so maybe that's my ignorance, or maybe it's actually not that big of big of a town. It's probably like a uh, it's probably like a university town is what I would I, I would suggest. But I'm just gonna go there. We'll see. And uh, okay, we're up in Illinois. 
Oh, and there's Bloomington. So it's actually a big town. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure Ch Chicago Geoffrey would be uh, quite disappointed with that guess from me there. But yeah, it's actually probably one of the bigger towns in, uh, in rural Illinois there. So quite a bad guess, but the Raiders must be must be the uh, Illinois team. Okay, so, well, I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me in the comments. Regardless, we're on to round three now, uh, and uh, here's what we're working with. So, a lot of farmland. These towns are more organic looking, like they look like they sprawled out from nothing, so definitely reminded me of Europe. Definitely could be Germany, reminds me of German towns, but yeah, anywhere in like Central Europe would make sense for me here. So, let's uh, take a look at this town itself. Looks like we're using white road lines, so that would also fit. Looks like German architecture to me, honestly. I'm pretty happy with like a Germany or a Czechia or something like that for this one. Moving up and down here, we've got like a big shopping center. Wow. So these were taken in different years. Clearly it's gone up since then. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely some part of the world like that could be, I don't know. I like, uh, maybe, maybe even Luxembourg or something like that. I don't know if it's uh, hilly enough for that, but lots of farmland could, could certainly be that kind of area. So let's zoom all the way out now. I think we get, uh, we get like 60 kilometers of radius or maybe a little bit more. So maybe I haven't been zooming out enough to these ones, but yeah, it seems to be like a relatively populated area. Okay. Mountains to our South here. So maybe Southern Germany or Austria or Czechia is the play here. I might, I might go, you know, somewhere over here. Well, if we can see those bigger mountains though, maybe, maybe something quite far South, maybe, maybe Rosenheim or around there, just because we are near some mountains to the South and you know, it feels like German architecture to me. So let's see if I'm right. And wow, we're over, just over the border in Austria there. That's a really nice guess. We're in uh, Lenzing uh, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty damn close. So um, yeah, just 119 kilometers away is pretty good. And could we've gotten that with this lake? We probably could have gotten that. Uh, I'm not really in the habit of using this yet. I don't feel like my geography knowledge is the best either. But yeah, I haven't been zooming out enough. Clearly we should take this like big view first. So we've got big mountains to the south. Kind of like, what's this going on here? Just like patches of forest and patches of farming over here. And the actual place we have to get is here though. So let's check out this town. What does it actually look like to us here? So this one off the bat probably strikes me as, yeah, North American or European again. Uh, what's this over here? Interesting. Is that a slide? Seems like it might be like a kid's complex or something like that. Not really sure. But these houses definitely remind me more of Europe. This time, I'm thinking this is like a big, I'm thinking this is an important river here. I'm just trying to think, this is probably gonna be a capital city or something like that, just because of how much development there is around it. So I'm thinking of like Zagreb or, no, no, this, obviously this is not big enough to be Zagreb, but in that kind of area, something could this like be the Danube or something like that is my thought. So I just wanna kind of get in here and see if there is like a, an area. So Budapest doesn't really make sense here. We do have, the, so, so the hills are to the south here. So what about Belgrade, like area? So if we were here, could we see the big hills to the south? I mean, we could be, it could be something like that, to be honest. Um, but no, the, the river, the, the, the Danube is probably wider than what we've got going on here, unfortunately. Okay, what about over here? Okay, this I kind of like more, somewhere, somewhere in Bulgaria. So let's zoom back in. In Bulgaria, they're really like two-story buildings. And I feel like, hmm, this, Feels a little richer, actually. Looking at some of these houses have pools in the backyard. It's quite, it's quite like a, it's quite rich looking. Some of these houses, particularly. So I might actually be tempted just to go back to like southern Germany or Austria again, actually. But I kind of liked my Eastern European um, guessing until until I looked more at these buildings. So could I go on the same kind of area this time? I might go on. No, I might actually go Austria again here. Let's go. Let's go somewhere along this river here. Let's go in this town here. Okay, so we were, wow, we were super close. I should have, man, 12 kilometers away. I didn't actually realize how close we were. I should have uh, been paying more attention there. That's actually quite sad. But it was the Danube River. So, you have to say, not too bad. We're in Gutzbach. And, um, yeah, I should have done better there. I really should have done better. That's quite disappointing, if I'm honest. Um, because we I was so close. I even, yeah. Anyway, let's not dwell on our mistakes for too long. You know, you guys know I'm the kind of player who likes to guess before, I think or at least some of the time. I don't really like the whole 5 k that much. Anyway, this one's quite a different vibe from the other round, so I'm looking forward to it. So should there be a soccer pitch here? I'm assuming. We're not really sure, actually. There's, there's no markings on it, so it's hard to tell if it is actually a soccer pitch. Uh, we have lots of forest, in, even inside the city. Um, as for the center of the city, well, that's actually the best quality we get here, apparently. 
Uh, it, it, it's also corrugated iron roofs. It, it appears to me that they're corrugated iron, a lot of these. So, somewhere poorer. Uh, Venezuela, I was thinking, just because I, I know they like to use a lot of corrugated iron, iron, iron there for the roofs. Otherwise, maybe just somewhere over in Africa would make sense as well. But yeah, checking out this farmland, patchy farmland, lots of trees. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's definitely interesting. It's going to be Latin America or Asia or Africa for sure. Um, doesn't exactly narrow down because that's basically the entire southern hemisphere here, but hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what are these? What's this over here? Actually, that's a good question as well. I don't know. Maybe somewhere in Africa would make sense here. It has to be. Okay, well, now we'll zoom out all the way again. So we've got some like volcanoes or big mountains over here, and we're in the mountains as well. So let's take a look at how um like Caracas would look here. So Caracas probably does not fit, but do we have any? Yeah, I think because the bigger mountains are to the north in Caracas, it doesn't fit. But let's check out some other ones here. Valencia. Uh, again, the bigger mountains are to the north there. Over here. Okay, this one's more interesting to me. Could we be in this city here? The the city itself we're looking at here is kind of more... It's more of like a... Well, it's quite spread out and kind of like a... It's like a big circle. This one, however... I mean, it certainly could be. I kind of like that, to be honest. I do kind of like that. Do we have a, a river running through the south of the city here? Feels like that's a road, so no. I, I don't think we're in the right spot here, but it would at least make sense. We do have some kind of hills to the south here. And the thing is, I don't really think I'll be able to find it. Unless it was one of these ones, Merida. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, honestly, I don't think it is actually Venezuela, but I can't really think of a better idea. I, I was kind of thinking of maybe Tanzania with these. One of them could be like one of the like Kilimanjaro area, but yeah, I don't think it actually gets this like all around hilly there. So yeah, I guess we'll just go for this. Could be anywhere to be honest. Let's see. Could be Asia. Uh, and this one is actually in Guatemala. So we pull a thousand points. We're on the outskirts of Guatemala City in this city here. So that's what we were looking at. And as we zoomed out, we saw these mountains. Where are the volcanoes? This one? Just trying to see where those volcanoes actually were. Maybe it was this one. And oh, yeah, here we go. This one and this one. So actually, Guatemala City was in there and we could have zoomed in. So guys, I clearly need to improve my tactics for this one. Regardless, we end up with 15,000. So a good score for the first one. I definitely think I'll come back to this map in another video but for now we're going to play on the uh capital cities of the world map and uh let us see how we do okay so first one capital city big city thinking pakistan or i don't know let's get in closer here to look at the building type first so over here we've got a, l a whole lot of apartment blocks everyone lives in an apartment no no normal size houses here We've got like an athletics track, so it's definitely a developed city. I mean, let's see how many people roughly live here. It definitely seems huge. So I want to check Cairo first. I want to check Cairo first, Ian, because we do have a river running through here. I'm pretty sure we do. And most of it is lies on this side. So I'm pretty sure this is just Cairo looking at the shape of the city. Yeah, if we could, we can open up this and like use the uh, satellite image, but that would definitely be cheating. So do we have this kind of shape here? I feel like this is this, right? I think the same shape. Not entirely the same shape, actually. Well, yeah, because then we'd have some smaller islands. So maybe this is not Cairo. Wow, well, it's a little bit wonky here. Um, okay, no, no, it is, it is, because we can see this island. So this is where we are. And where's the pink dot? The pink dot is up near this island over here, which is... This island is here. And so we are in, like, downtown Cairo, like, here. I'm pretty sure. So let's see. And uh, we're 85 meters away, so a 5k to start us off with. Um, after a few bad attempts before. Uh, okay, here we go. Let me check the uh, This one is interesting. We've got another like football stadium here or something like that. Actually, see, it should be soccer. This one should be soccer. Okay. Uh, lots of red roofs. Uh, and let's take a look here. Okay, this is like a big mouth of the river. Everything seems to lie over to the east um, rather than to the west here. Or to the west rather than the east, which is interesting. Um... I've been a GeoGuessr YouTuber for a year and I still can't remember, can still never tell the difference between East and West before I think about it. Regardless, here we are, uh, kind of like a muddy color to this river, which is interesting, but the amount of red roofs is, is certainly like confusing me, I must say. So are we in Europe or not with all these red roofs? Wow, look at these buildings. Some of these are definitely tall buildings. I don't actually think we're in Europe, but that leaves the question of where we actually are. 
it's pretty flat that's that's the thing that's getting me here it's definitely pretty flat but look at these buildings they don't actually appear to be very european so where would where would have a river like this uh, this is definitely distinguishable i just don't really know so harare doesn't work not not a big enough river so am i am i barking up the wrong tree here is this actually africa hmm it's definitely like a nice this is like a good quality highway i would say so it has to be like a, it has to be a, a a country with some money um the question is where like it has to be fairly green as well so nairobi doesn't make sense um dar es salaam is on the coast so yeah we can rule out all coastal capital cities here for sure um so what about like you know georgetown or these ones don't make sense at all uh Suncion here okay this one almost makes sense but we're on the we're on the west side of the river so can't be what about brasilia what about brasilia no brasilia is like super organized i remember that this one's not quite as organized as what you'd see in brasilia okay i have an idea yeah i think it's going to be like kinshasa or brazzaville uh no no it's not it's not but i kind of like that idea so let's follow our way up here what about over here okay this one at least would kind of make sense again the river is not quite on the right angle though so i'm starting to have more faith in this kind of area here but we're running out of places that it can actually be as well hmm, so where is this gonna be i I'm, I'm legitimately quite stumped by this these red roofs are so strange man where is there so many red roofs okay so maybe i am completely blocking up the wrong tree let's check out kiev here uh this one at least has a lot of rivers, but we'd have all those bridges running across. It's definitely not Kiev. Um, the red roofs, man. Okay, I'm, I'm clearly a lot worse at this than I thought I would be. So I'm just going to pick a country now, just because I'm really not sure and I don't want to bore you guys. Um, so... <laughs> I don't know what to guess, man. I do not know what to guess. Um, let's go in... Let's go uh, in Cameroon. I, I don't know. This one was Cambodia. This was Phnom Penh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Can't, couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with it. This one looks like like Bahrain or something to me. I'm not really sure. Or, or, or Qatar. Probably Qatar makes more sense here. It's going to be one of these uh, Arab states here. So Qatar. Would that makes sense here. We have what looks to be the correct kind of things because these like little circles here definitely resemble them. So yeah, we're certainly in Qatar here. Certainly in Doha. And uh, we're looking for the pink circle, which is right in the center of town here. So we can just we can just slam that in there. And we're 200 meters away, which is a 4999. So we're exactly at 10,000 now, surprisingly enough, because uh, we got one point on the other round, apparently. This one's interesting. We've got like a big dome here, big stadium. Again, feeling like a poor country here. Uh, so let's take a look. We're on the mouth of a river on the coast, presumably. Uh, what's this big green section around here some big forest or some big nature reserve We've got a airport here as well okay so it's fairly green it is fairly green on this one and yeah apart from that not too sure here definitely feels kind of african to me so I, I would not be surprised if it's one of these ones mogadishu is too dry okay i think we found it yeah we found it look at this this is the right one wow okay so this one was mozambique after all um again not took me too long to find it but yeah we're gonna be around on this road here i think so there you go uh, 88 meters away nice and easy so we can still get four out of five here uh if we get this one correct and hopefully it won't be too hard another one on a river definitely a a, a theme when it comes to capital cities this one is interestingly populated again i once again like one of these ones first so i'm gonna check them georgetown does not quite make sense but it is kind of like the same vibe going on so let's check paramibo and paramibo does make sense i think look at this shape this is correct so yeah we're gonna be in paramibo Suriname, and the pink dot is around here we line up roughly there i think so yeah another good round and uh we get almost the uh, almost the maximum so 19,998 just missed out on phnom penh and uh, that was remarkably difficult i must say so uh let me check the time again uh i have time to do australia but we're just gonna have to race through it uh so let us get here australia uh, i'm gonna be the sixth or seventh person to ever play this map it's 
made by Dennis, so you know it's going to be good, but there are 500,000 locations, so this one could literally be anywhere in the country. I'll kind of give myself 30 seconds per round here, because I've been taking quite a lot of time on these rounds so far, and I'll see if we can get a good job or a good score. So <laughs> this one, it did that glitch again, so we know we're in somewhere in New South Wales. Looking at this town, uh, it's pretty green, has a lot of like stuff running into it, so I kind of like Bathurst or something like that here. I'm not really sure if Bathurst is the right angle, but we do see like a similar river system here. Would not be surprised for someone like Bathurst. So, okay, this one was in Tamora, so 3.7k is a good start. Uh, hopefully it doesn't show us anything this time. Okay, this one is interesting. Is this Adelaide? I think this is Northern... No. Hmm. I gotta check Adelaide. I think this might be... Could it be Northern Suburbs? No, because we have this over here in Adelaide, so... Unless it, unless it is, I just gotta check here. We would see, we would see the river running through here. So if it's not Adelaide, where is it then? So well, we, we've got like an oval like this. It definitely bends around a lot. This is, this is interesting. This is definitely a capital city as well. And we had 30 seconds and it was Perth in the northern suburbs. I forgot Perth and Adelaide have a rather similar shape. So yeah, we'll start this, we'll start this seat again, just because I forgot about 30 seconds. Clearly, I'm so not used to this and I'm not really adjusting that well, I must say. So here's a town. Uh... It's going to be, okay, we're in the Northern Territory here, or Western Australia, probably Western Australia, somewhere over here. Do we see kind of like, like the beginning of some river systems, so probably somewhere in this area here. Uh, so what towns do we have? Meta? It could be something like this. And that's all I can really think of so far. Gets a little hilly around here. Um, yeah, we're just, we're somewhere around here, I think. And okay, further down the coast, but we get 1,400. I'll just keep going, because... I don't really mind. This one is in a bigger city. This one is at Adelaide, finally. So we're in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. Uh, you can see that like Adelaide is interesting because it's got parkland all around, and there's the airport as well. So we're in the northern suburbs here, uh, just before it like hits the port. So somewhere over here, and we further up. Okay, so we're we're right near this like big rubbish dump here, I think. So somewhere in Wingfield. Um, yes, this makes sense, I think. So maybe maybe somewhere right there. And okay, we were 1.1 kilometers away, so we get a nice score there. Always well, nice to get your own city in Geogasa. Oh wow, we're in the middle of nowhere for this one, so this one's gonna be a bit more challenging, a bit more challenging for sure. Let's check out the road quality here, if we can. Wow, well, a bit disoriented. So we're kinda going east to west, uh, in the middle of the desert. Um, I think I like maybe somewhere in Western Australia near Kalgoorlie, maybe. Not really sure, um, is there a road running through here? Yeah, there's a road and a railway. I don't see the railway here, but it kind of reminds me of this kind of area, maybe. We also have a lot of green here, so I don't think this is right. Now, actually, considering this green, yeah. So we're over here, interesting. Did not expect that. But yeah, well, my guess was silly, because we were in the desert down here, and uh, I, I just, it was behind the minimap, all that green, so. Yeah, not particularly good here. We're getting country streaks, though, at least. <laughs> okay, so here's the next one. Uh, oh, I know this shape. I think this is like Gladstone or something like that. Let's check out Gladstone here. No, Gladstone is not quite right. So where is it? It's not Fraser Island, is it? No, no, no. I just know this shape. It's somewhere in it's somewhere in Queensland. I'm pretty sure. So definitely not Cairns. Could it be Cairns? No. I believe that is not Cairns, but it's going to be somewhere along here. I'm pretty sure. So hopefully I am right and it's nearby here. Okay, it was, it was, it was. I knew there was something like this shape nearby, and it ends up just being near some smaller towns, but... Okay, Gladstone. I, did I say Gladstone and then click in Hervey Bay? Oh, no, no, no. I said Gladstone off the bat. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Okay, so 4K, and uh, not our best effort, but, you know, neither has this entire video been, to be fair. This one looks like Melbourne. Uh, I think this is going to be like the bay where Melbourne is, uh, like right here. Uh, and that would definitely make sense because I think we have this like river running through like this. And as it stands, we're kind of like south of the river, like over here somewhere. So that, that's an easy, good score here. We're going to be just south of here. Yep. So uh, 2.8 kilometers away is a nice way to end it. So 15,000. I like this map because it tends to normally be in a town. There's a good distribution. So I say we go in for another one here. All right. What's the best score on this map so far? 24K. S Sage is a strong player, but yeah, we, we, we want above 20. We want above 20 this time. Let's we'll see if we can get that. Okay, this time. Interesting. What town is this? This reminds me... Okay, this should be like... Ne oh, I forgot how much we can zoom out. This one... Okay, this one's Southern SA. I... 
Is this WA or SA? I think we're somewhere down here, right? I think that this kind of shape is around here. So yeah, and then it, so we're going around Robe. I think we're in Robe actually. So I think that would make most sense here. I'm pretty sure that's the exact right shape. It is, it is, it is. So I was initially thinking somewhere in um, WA, but Robe ends up making more sense. And uh, yeah, we, we pull a nice guess there. A little bit of a glitch, but no worries. Next one, okay, let's check this out. Pretty green, but if you zoom in, quite dry. So somewhere with a mine as well. Look at all this, okay, so. If we have a bigger city over this direction, could it be, it's not gonna be Adelaide area, but I'm not, I'm not sure where, I'm not sure where to guess here. Maybe I just go like Newcastle area? I don't really know if there's like mines out here, but it's definitely quite hilly. So this is what reminds me of most. And the actual town itself is quite small. So outside Perth, okay, that makes more sense. The when you see these like um, satellite images, it often looks like the t the the hills are bigger than they are because obviously these hills are not very big next to Perth. But here we are. Okay, so definitely not going to get that twenty k this round. Or we still can, but unlikely. Uh, this one is on a river. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Starting to think here. Uh. Why would we have a river like this? This is definitely interesting. It's a bigger town over here. It's definitely a bigger town. Um, I guess I was initially thinking like, could it could it be like even Victor Harbor or something like that? It would make sense with the with uh, what we have, but I don't think the river makes sense here. So it's going to be somewhere over here, I think. Yeah, near Sydney, Newcastle. Wow. So the guess I made from the round before would have been much better. Regardless, here we are back in the outback. Uh. Ooh, like very interesting east to west um, mountains here. So I think this is going to be like Alice Springs area, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, this is a small... Okay, so that, that should be Alice over there. I'm pretty sure that's going to be Alice over there. So we're going to be a little bit south here of Alice. So maybe in, on like this waterhole or something like that. Because we seem to be... Uh, these are the McDonald Ranges. I think we're south of them. So yeah, I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere over here, I guess. Because, yeah, okay, nice. We're just on the main highway. So I think, like, a lot of the locations are, are along the main highways if they're not in the city. But, yeah, I could see Alice Springs there. So that wasn't too hard. And the next one is, okay, this one looks like it's on the Murray River somewhere. Yeah, this is definitely on the Murray River somewhere. Uh, it definitely gets a lot wide here, though. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, so with this, like, all these curls, uh, that, that that's definitely indicative of the Murray River. I don't really know where it gets wide like that, but... Yeah, I guess it must somewhere along here. So South Australia is possible. I kind of like this area here more because it because it definitely um like starts curling a lot more. So here we are. This is Lake um What? I clicked there. Anyway, didn't I did I not click there? I don't know. I thought I clicked there. I think it just didn't register in time. Uh but yeah, we would have we would have got a perfect score there, essentially. We would have got fifteen thousand again. But guys, let me know which of these maps you want to come me to come back to. I will probably have to edit out. If I don't edit out, I'm really sorry. Some of these, some of these long pauses because I was not playing that well today. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Regardless, uh, let me know what you thought of the format, and hopefully, I will get some more perfect scores on here soon. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you want to come back to it. I think it's super enjoyable, and uh, hopefully, you guys do too. So until next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.